Yo, what's up guys? Before I start anything, talking about anything, I just created a Flask application with Pinterest. Yeah, Pinterest is a website where you see photos, pictures, I don't know, maybe. So let me just quickly open this up. I built this with Flask. So it's, it's on the website into a full Android application, but it's still... <laughs> If you've used the website before, or you've used WaveView before, you would understand that this is WaveView. Um, you can sign in, uh, create your own account, and so on. So, before any other thing, I'll like to show you how I make this possible with QVP for A. All right, without wasting much time, let's minimize this guy. Now, this is the Flask application, right? So, from Flask and Power Flash and Redirect. Redirect is what is going to take us to the Pinterest application, uh, Pinterest website. So, this is the Pinterest website. You plug it in here and you kind of like take your route. Hello. Actually, it's not meant to be hello, but you can call this index. Well, any name you give it, it goes with it. Right, index. Let me just put it in index for Christ's sake. Right, request Android permission. Maybe you can download uh, uh, files from the pin interest or download pictures from the pin interest. You need to put the storage permission, read and write the external storages. Now, let's head over to Builders and see what's going on there. So, first of all, you name the application Pinterest. Package name, Pinterest, package domain, app.pinterest, uh, source directory. This is that is the current directory here. So if you have not watched my previous bulldozer um, videos, go and watch them. They are very, very good. So just include, so you just include, just leave this one, leave this the way it is. So we included a JPG file, right? Which is in this asset folder here. Now version 0 0.1.1, .1, uh, doesn't matter what version you name it, so long as it doesn't conflict with the Pinterest uh, Play Store application. Actually, Pinterest has an account in Play Store, so be careful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the requirement is only Python 3 and Flask. If you have other requirements you want to put in the app, you can do it right here. Then pre splash screen assets logo.jpg. Yeah, you see this this logo here. So this is the splash screen. And also that is that also is the um it is the icon, icon finding. Now what orientation do we want this? We want it on a portrait mode. Full screen. Let me set this guy to one. It's going to take the whole of the screen. Then Android pre splash for F F F. This is white. But mind you, this is not going to make any changes. Actually, there's a bug in WebView application, WebView code that Kivi themselves wrote. So uh, for us to correct this guy, you have to build your application that is run this command builders are minus v Android debug deploy run log guards. When it is done and launch the application, actually, um, before I launch the application, I'll still show you something. So here we'll put Android permission. Internet must be there because we are dealing with the web. So read external storage and write external storage. Android API, it must be 28. Please do not set it to 30. 30 is not supported and 29 is not supported by uh, Flask WebView. Also, we have Android SDK part. So this is the part of my Android SDK. If yours is downloaded by Bulldozer, then leave it by it to its default. Actually, I removed some things to make it look neat and uh, not stressing myself uh, scrolling through text. So, skip updates through. Yeah, do not update my SDK. That's what I told it there. Then, log cards filter. You guys should know this. And you guys should know. If you don't know any of this, to watch my previous videos on Bulldozer. Then, we are using the developed version of P4A branch. Please do not use the master branch. Use the developed version. There is a bug with the master branch. I think so. So, um, then people here uh, bootstrap. This is very, very important. Initially, when you write KV codes, you, you are dealing with the SDL2 package. Here, we're dealing with the web view. 
we are dealing with the WebView Bootstrap, not the SDL2 Bootstrap. Now, this is the port our our, our WebView is going to be looking at when it launches the application. Port 8080. So, uh, I set it to port 8080. You can set it to port 5000, um, any port you want. Just that I'm running some application on port 5000 on my Android phone right now. So, I don't want to conflict with it. So, I decided to put this on port 8080. Then these ones are not really necessary. Low level two, one on root. So that's our let's build. So it's not going to take time building because I actually built this before. So I just wanted to build and let me put my screen out here, right? Let me let me minimize back to my Android screen. So we we wait for this guy to get done. Why it is getting done? I would like you guys to actually. Check this out for me. I think it is almost done. Actually, the icon, I downloaded the icon from Google. You have to Google the icon if you need the icon too. So, yeah, I know it's going to exit out. <laughs> it's an asshole. So, it's almost launching. Um, Okay, where's my terminal? So I'm going to launch this guy back. So I'm going to say here ADB log cat minus S Python, right? Yep. So now let's Let's go to our app and we're looking for Pinterest. So this is the Pinterest, right? This is the Pinterest. Now when I launch this guy, oh god, is it's not cool. I want it to show me, okay. Let me let me clear the cage. Let me clear the cage. I want it to show me the black screen so that you would understand what I'm trying to do. Storage. Get away from my screen. Clear data. Okay. So it's done clearing the data. Now we are ready to launch the application. So let's go. So as you can see, you are seeing the black. Actually, we gave it a white. And boom yeah it's launching our application don't mind the loader up here give you give us give, give us this loader by default uh when as in python for android give us this loader by default when we launch the application you can actually edit this logo i'll still show you where it is so we're going to allow this and then wait for pinterest to appear so this is the pinterest i'm going to log in <laughs> so i'm going to continue with google baby So when you click, you wait, <laughs> right? Because we are not seeing any loader. So you should have, um, this is actually going. I don't know, but this is it. So uh, it's working fine. So uh, I'm going to minimize this. Let me pause this video so that you don't see my password, blah, 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 stuff. Okay, I think I have logged in. So it's just working back on Pinterest. So imagine you have Pinterest website as an application on your Android device. Isn't this so cool? Like, yeah, Pinterest application on Android device. This is crazy. So um, that's it, guys. Now, let me show you how to make the splash screen to turn to white or whichever color you want so you should know hex code very well we are going to head over to this directory enter this guy then go to platform build then go to this now what we are looking for is string it's inside template yeah where is 
string yeah strings dot mpl now we are going to add something here actually i'm going to pause this video and copy the one i've already done i don't have the code up okay i'm back am i really really back am i really okay i'm, I'm, I'm live now uh you got you have to add this here remember how i went through the direction now here you can now change the color to whatever color you want so i'm using white here i pre excuse me i prefer white so just follow the rules i gave here then now let's build this application again and see where it goes at now i'm going to pause this video okay now let's see what we have here let's launch the app and see actually if it turned to white yeah that's the white color we're talking about that's the white color yeah so just go straight there and change it then for those of you who have not written codes with kiwi before or who have not used p4a before um i'm going to make a separate video for for this now uh you have to kind of like watch my previous video to understand what i did my previous android uh builders as to understand what i did from next videos onwards i'll be making videos on how to use totally website to control your android device both vibrate ring flash that is the touch behind your camera and um many things you can do even even establish a chatting application or game if you know javascript very well and you can do animation crazy animations with css and all that we are going to see how to turn websites into a full gaming engine and the application for android devices so i don't deal with ios devices because i don't have one all right we are going to be looking into that in the next future i might also start working on a framework because it's on my mind to start working on a framework that will focus on turning websites into full android application and i given them the functionalities of the total android system so with the help of p4a um well by god's grace you'll be doing all that all right thank you and i'll see you on my next good video yeah i'm going out